Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be doing an updated version of my cinematic tutorial. And I'll also be showing you how to create freeze time cinematics with the new Merv time command. So first up, what we need to do is obviously download the latest version of HLE. So head over to advancedeffects.org and download the latest version here. Once you have that, you have the zip file downloaded, you can go ahead and extract it to a folder, like so. And once you have that done, go ahead and open it and launch HLE. Make sure you click yes, updates, go to tools, developer, custom loader. For program path, what you need to do is select your csgo.exe. So just hit browse, head over to wherever your CSGO is installed. Mine is installed on my C drive and select your CSGO, like so. And once you have that, go to command line. You can go ahead and set up a custom resolution like I am. I'm going to be doing a resolution of 1600 by 900 like so you can just leave it blank if you don't want to set up a custom resolution after the dll to inject hit browse and select a for cool source.dll and now if you want to do some reshade what you need to do is drag in your reshade dll i'm not going to be doing that for this tutorial so i'm just going to press ok and my csgo will launch Alright, once CSGO is launched, you should see this Valve anti-cheat message pop up. That means HLA is working properly. And now what we need to do is go ahead and set up your binds in your config. If you don't have a movie making config, that's fine. You can just create one or you can go ahead and download mine. Like so. So I'm going to leave this in the description for you to download and use. You're going to need to at least have two of these three binds I've set up here to create cinematics. So the two ones here and here, these are the main two you're going to need to create cinematics. The third one in the middle here is for free sign cinematics. So this is not necessary if you just want to make cinematics. But if you want to have this as well, feel free. So the first command that we're going to need is the Merv Camp Path Add command. This is the command that adds the little Camp Path points that creates the cinematic. We have to create at least four Camp Path points to create a cinematic. If you have less than those, uh, the cinematic won't work. And the button that I've binded to create the cam paths is mouse three, which is my middle mouse button or the scroll wheel. And I've added a bit on the, on the end, saying echo cam path added. That will just um, put in to the console when I've pressed the bind, so I can keep track of how many times I've added a cam path, like so, which is nice and handy. The next bind is the demo toggle pause. This is the bind that um, toggles the play and pause of the demo. This is what we're going to be needed to um, create the cinematics. Now this command here, demo toggle pause, isn't actually 100% necessary. You actually don't have to use this, but I'll be showing you my method and how I create cinematics with this um, bind. I have this set to N, which is nice and close to spacebar and where my um, hands rest. And this final command here, move time mode and resume pause is the command that you're going to be needing to create freeze time cinematics and i'll be showing that in a bit so once you have those set up you can go ahead and set up whatever bind you want you don't have to use mouse three b or n you can do whatever you want but make sure you have these three commands or these two you don't have to use this one if you don't want freeze time cinematics and once you have those uh you can go ahead and close out of your config and save it place it into your cfg folder in csgo and uh, you can go ahead and load up a demo by pressing Shift F2 to bring up the demo UI. Go to load and look for your demo. I'm just going to go to my demo folder and use the Inferno clip. Where is it? Here it is. All right, once you load into the demo, you can go ahead and uh, look for your player. And uh, I'm going to use this command demo underscore go to tick and select the tick like so. I'm going to go ahead and hide the HUD like that and I'm going to go ahead and exact my movie making config like so. Alright, I'm just going to go forward a bit where I want where I want my cinematic to start. And now I'm going to open up the demo UI. I'm going to copy this tick number as you can see here and I'm just going to write it into the console like that and copy and paste it. So that's where the cinematic will start. I'm going to go press space two times to 
uh, go into third person mode like so. And now what we need to do is set up the FOV. This is kind of important to what your cinematic is going to look like. And you can do that by using the commands merv underscore FOV and setting to whatever you like. I'm still FOV of 35, a nice low one like so. Zooms in quite a bit. You can change this later. I'll be showing you that in a second. And once you have that done, you can go ahead and open up your console again. Let merv underscore input camera. And what that does is put you into the camera mode. You can fly around while the uh, demo is paused. Um, it won't do much if you, if you try to add camp paths. So, first things first, move around. WASD, of course, is the way to move around. F and R. R is up, F is down. You move, to move the height. Z on your keyboard rotates to the left, X rotates to the right. Uh, same goes for on your numpad, you can press 0 on your numpad, it will move to the left and you press the decimal point or the delete key on your numpad and it will move to the right. Plus and minus on your numpad will slow the speed of your camera. So if I minus, if I lower the speed, I can see it move very slowly, like so. If I press plus, it will go very fast, like so. And I'm just going to slow it down a bit so I don't fly around the map. Another few keys that you want to take a look at is the page up and page down keys. The page up is the zoom in command. You can change the FOV like so. Page down zooms out. You can change the FOV um, just by doing those keys like so. So you don't have to do the Merv FOV commands. Um, it's fairly, it's pretty useful. Now aside from using your mouse to look around like so, um, you can also use the arrow keys. The left and right arrow keys pans left and right. Up and down pans up and down like so. Uh, you can also use those if you really want but I just tend to prefer using the mouse it's a lot easier. And what I like to do is set the uh, speed of the demo to 25% just to make um, recording a bit easier. So once you have those done you can go ahead and press your toggle bind for the player pause. In this case it's N for me. I'm just going to fly around to a point where I want my cinematic to start. So I want it to be a nice close up of my uh, CT character, like so. This is where my demo is going to start. I'm just going to try and get into a good position. This is a bit finicky to get used to, so... Might take a bit of time to record a cinematic, especially if you're new to this sort of stuff. Uh, I suck at recording cinematics, so... Let's see how well I do. So this is where I want my cinematic to start. I'm just pressing my camp path add bind, in this case middle mouse button, like so. And as you can see, camp path has been added. That's what it will say since I've added an echo. Go ahead and resume your demo a little bit, like so. And you can go ahead and move again. I'm just gonna move back a bit, like that. Oh, this could end up looking like a really horrible cinematic. Press my cam path find again. As you can see, add another one. Resume the demo. Bits. I'm just going to spin around like so. Rotate it a bit. Resume the demo again. Move around. And another add another cam path. Resume the demo a bit again. Fly around. This is going to end up looking like a really ugly cinematic. Resume demo again. Fly around. Add another cam path. And make sure you add at least four of these cam paths. If you don't add four, um, this um, cinematic thing won't work. So once you've added enough cam paths and you think the cinematic will look good, you can go ahead and type merv underscore cam path enable and one. Then you can press escape to get out of the Merv input mode. You can go ahead and do demo underscore go to tick. Get to the start of your cinematic like so. I'm just gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and play the demo and as you can see it is playing the cinematic like so and it looks kind of horrible actually. That isn't that great. Okay. But that's just for the tutorial's sake. As you can see, there you have it. You have a nice cinematic. And if you want to have it as a, in a freeze time mode, 
what you need to do is, as you set up the binds earlier, all you have to do is go to the start of your demo, like so. Um, play your demo, and uh, while it's playing, just press your binds, the Merv time binds, in this case mine is B. I'm just going to go ahead and press it and then pause the demo, and you can see the uh, demo is frozen but cinematic is still playing but and the uh, demo is actually paused you see it's freeze time mode very nice all right so there you have it so that's all that is to recording um cinematics it's nice and simple fairly easy to do um just takes a bit of practice to do it and uh yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial I uh, hope you all found it helpful, um, please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you all in the next one.